Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the top 10 best apps this week. Number 370, using the Galaxy S8. As always, for the best live wallpaper of the week, it is called Kruma. Now, as you notice, this is based off the Material Design live wallpapers. I love the way it looks. Now, it does have a breathing animation, so if you stay still, you'll see it move around. It looks really cool, but if you shake the device, it actually changes quite a bit, and it looks really cool, and you're really gonna enjoy it. Number two, quick swipe. This allows you to open up your apps, your recents, and your toggles all within reach of your thumb. Here's your toggles, recent applications, and all your favorite application that you chose to put up on here. Now this is customizable, there's a theme for it. You can see these are what's on the application and you can download many more different styles and looks. There's quite a few settings in there that you can really tweak it out to your liking. Number three, Bix Actions. Those of you guys who have a Galaxy S8 or Plus, you see that there's a volume rocker and there is a Bixby button. When you do, it opens up voice actions, doesn't do any other. So if I press on it, Something else happens like my flashlight. This is the best one that I found that works really nicely. You can choose your actions of what they have in here. So if you wanted to open the camera instead, just select on that, the Bixby button right here. It's gonna launch the camera and it does so very fast. So click it again and it's gonna go right to the camera so you can really remap it. And if you wanna choose a certain application, go launch and choose it, maybe Snapchat. And then you press the Bixby button and it's gonna launch your Snapchat and then you can start recording to capture that moment. Number four app of the day now this is one of the must-have applications that i've recommended so many times over the years since i get a lot of new people and they might not got into those videos yet or they're too old i want to remind those people who might have forgot got new phones app of the day gives you a free paid app that normally costs money but you get it for free every 24 hours after 24 hours this paid app will no longer be available on here and the next day will be another one i found some useful application that normally would cost a dollar to five bucks even maybe more and i got them for free because of this application so definitely give this a try. Number five, Appy Geek. All right, most of the tech news that I get is from Appy Geek and Twitter, and you can literally specify what type of topics you want to choose from. There's a lot of it. There's uh, hot topics, general. If you don't know what you're looking for, you can just browse through it. So this is your home page. Click on the iPhone. This is your iPhone front page. You can discover and find out new apps. We can go to Google. This is a way of just getting new stuff to read you can go over to the next page google allo now lets you heart messages and conversations that's something new i didn't even know that the animations and the layout is great you really do get updated prime news number six my paid apps as the title says my purchases is everything you've made through your google account purchase will show up on here so all your apps and games books music even phones that you've bought in will show up on this little page and maybe you forgot about certain applications that you paid for so like this one there's down well sometimes you don't know how to get to your paid apps or games that you've had and then you can be like oh yeah this game so you come back to it and you don't have to pay for it again because you already paid for it it's just under your account definitely a must-have app for me Number seven, Converbration. Now in the settings, it allows you to set certain different vibrations for certain people, for certain types of messages. So if you get a message with the question mark, it'll give you a different vibration. There's a sound version, there's quick, the realistic one, and there's custom, so you can really customize. Do a test, say, hey, now, with the question, so we're gonna try it. Maybe you didn't get to hear it, but it does have a different vibration. So if you have good attention to detail, you're gonna be able to feel each message with certain different vibrations, but there's quite a bit of settings in there for you to mess with. You gotta try it out for yourself to really see if you like it. Number eight, life sum. Life sum is those people who love to be active and wanna keep track of their daily doses of food, activity you can really calculate everything on here i love the way it lays it out and you can also make an account to compete with your friends now if you drink a cup of water obviously you tap on there and it'll tell you how many liters you've been drinking and that's for today and what have you ate you can literally scan a barcode of whatever you buy at a store what times are you eating you have it for lunch dinner what are you snacking on exercise i'm actually going to start really using this because i'm trying to gain some muscle weight and to achieve that it tells me what i need to eat and how much i need to exercise in order to reach the goal number nine cam shield all it does is kind of let you know when the camera is being used because a lot of people are paranoid and they don't like being watched let's hit the snapchat button right here and there it is. So it's letting me know that something did activate. So these apps would click your photos when you are not aware. I don't think we should be paranoid or worried about it, but this application exists if you really want it. Number 10, 
Lena Launcher. Now this application is just a launcher replacement. Now if you like the layout of a desktop PC or Mac, I'm going to click on the settings and make the icons bigger. You can see there or a lot bigger. So if you click on the Twitter or hit on Facebook, you can see that there's multiple windows there and then hit on. So there's three windows that you can have multiple things running, but you can see if you tap on that, that is all your applications and they're all interactive. So if you want something like that, it's kind of hard to press on the curved screen, but you can still tweak some more settings. If you click on that, you can see system wallpaper status bar. You can remove certain things as well. If you like trying new things, definitely go do it. And there you guys have it. These are the top 10 best apps this week. Number 370 using the Galaxy S8. Find all the applications in the description down below. And on the next app video, I am finally, finally going to do an iOS top 10 apps many so many of you guys have been asking me to do that for years i am a tech channel i gotta be on both sides i hope you guys understand that i want to grow my top 10 apps is the biggest series on my channel and ios is gonna be i did not say hey siri the reason why i haven't been doing a lot of app is because they are harder to come by i've done over four almost five thousand applications so a lot of them are repetitive or they're nothing new to offer so it's kind of hard to find the next best application there's thousands of games that i could totally go through but they're not very popular my apps are the most popular so i might start mixing half apps and half games let me know if you guys would be okay with that or just completely just do more apps and then sometimes do games but definitely ios apps is coming that's something that i should have been doing a long time ago i'm still going to be looking for the apps i will see you guys next time later